Merry almost Christmas, everyone. Thanks for joining us on today's episode of the Holly Jolly Kitchen. We're kicking off the Christmas season and I can hardly contain my excitement. I love Christmas and this is gonna be so much fun. Merry almost Christmas, everyone. I'm your host, Taylor, and thank you so much for joining us on today's episode of the Holly Jolly Kitchen. We're kicking off the Christmas season and I can hardly contain my excitement. I love Christmas. I can't say it enough. I love opening gifts, giving gifts, spending time with family, and decorating Christmas trees. But one of the best parts about Christmas is the holly jolly singing all around. Everyone, sing along to some of my favorite carols with me. Now, it's time for our next segment of the show, Game Time. You're going to love this. We're playing Christmas Trivia. We'll put a question on the screen and you'll have a few seconds to guess before the correct answer appears. Ready? Here we go. True or false, a partridge is a type of fish. False, a partridge is a type of bird. Name two reindeer whose names begin with the letter C. Comment in Cupid. Which of these is not a gift from the wise man? A, gold. B, silver. C, frankincense. D, myrrh. B, silver. Fill in the blank. I'm dreaming of a blank Christmas. 
I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. What town does the Grinch steal Christmas from? A. Greenville. B. Whoville. C. Uville. D. Christmas Town. B. Whoville. How'd you do? I'm sure you were awesome. Now, as you can see here on our show, we love everything about Christmas, but we especially love making and tasting yummy Christmas treats. Here, we have some friends of the show, Graham and Reese, and they are serving up all the fun as they take some requests, challenges, and even just general questions from our viewers at home. I'm sure our audience has cooked up something really special for Graham and Reese today. So let's check in and see what's up in the test kitchen. Hey Graham, has our latest test recipe come into the kitchen yet? Uh, you mean this old thing? Yeah, but it's the worst. I've already made it. Oh, well, hold up, you wanna turn that sauteed down to a simmer and tell me what you're talking about? What do you mean you already made it? We're a team. You know, Reese and Graham, Graham and Reese. You can't just work on the recipes without me. I'm sorry, Reese. I wasn't trying to hurt your feelings. It's not a big deal. I was honestly just trying to save your chef expertise for something that's a little more fun than today's test. Here, take a look. This thing is Snoo City, USA. <laughs> Hold the holidays, what kind of a challenge is this? Couldn't we have tried something a little more difficult than a no-bake cheesecake? See, now you're feeling me. Somebody sound the alarm to wake me up because this cake is boring. Okay, my bad, Graham. I should know by now if you say it's not a big deal, then it's cooler than frosty on a Christmas morning. <laughs> you know, I've eaten a lot of cheesecake over the years. There was that one with the milk chocolate, Ooh and the, the white chocolate, and then the dark chocolate, and it was covered with Oreos and milk chocolate sauce. Ah! That cheesecake was amazing. Oh, and do you remember that time when I baked that one that was like, if a birthday cake tornado ran right into a cheesecake volcano and exploded into the best thing I've ever tasted? Oh, oh man, that cheesecake was the best. <sighs> But looking at the plan for this cheesecake, not so much. Yeah, well, I guess it's about time I get this boring, blah dee da dee da no-bake cheesecake out of the oven. Uh, stop right there, sous chef. <laughs> the oven? You put this no-bake cheesecake in the oven to bake? What in the whisk happened to this thing? <laughs> well, let's take a look at our plan real quick. You you put this cake in the oven, <laughs> but this cake is a no-bake. So when you bake a no-bake cake, you get whatever this is. Oh, I was wondering why this thing called for ice cubes. I was thinking this would be so boring that I really didn't have to pay attention to all the details. Yeah, Grandma, this cheesecake was supposed to be sitting in the freezer for the last 30 minutes. Oh, no! <laughs> okay, 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 don't freak out. We just, we need a plan. Let's just take it from the top. Do you mean start over? Well, that would work out for us if this cake wasn't supposed to be finished by 3 p.m. Uh, uh oh, I uh, think we're in a bit of boiling water here because it's 2.15 and this recipe takes a total of three and a half hours to make from start to finish and there is no way we are going to have this bad boy ready in the next 45 minutes. Well, what can we do now? If we had a time machine, I could go back a couple of hours and force myself to follow the plan. Uh, okay, Reese, that's the only answer. I need you to help me find a time machine. Do you think we can get one of those? Yeah, right, Graham, I wish, uh, but oh. we both know there's only one thing we can do. Okay, well, I guess since I'm the one that got us into this craziness, the least that I can do is call someone to help get us out. <laughs> oh, Ginger Snap. Oh, Ginger Snap is right. That dessert looked pretty rough. Seems like Graham and Reese forgot the first rule of cooking. Follow the plan that the recipe tells you. If you've ever been in a kitchen, you've probably seen a recipe book. This is every chef's best friend. When you follow the recipe exactly, you get an awesome end result that you and all your friends can enjoy. Graham thought he knew what to do, 
but because he didn't stick to the plan, that no-bake cheesecake turned out to also be a no-eat cheesecake. Since he didn't trust the plan, he didn't get to enjoy the goodness that would have come from a yummy cheesecake. Fortunately for them, I like to run my kitchen on what I believe is the best recipe book. This is not one that shows us how to make cookies, cakes, candies, or pies. This recipe book helps us to know how to make right choices inside and outside of the kitchen. Who knows what book I'm talking about? The Bible! That's right! It's called The Bible! Seeing Graham struggle to follow the plan reminded me of a time when a man from the Bible named Joseph was faced with a choice. He had to choose whether to believe if God really had a plan for him or not. Let's take a look. God has a plan for our lives, and we can trust Him even when we don't understand all that He is doing. There's a story in the Bible where we see this is true. There was a man named Joseph, and he was a carpenter living in the town of Galilee. Joseph was engaged to a young woman named Mary and learned that she was going to have a baby. This didn't make him very happy, which makes sense, because they weren't even married yet. You see, Mary knew this was going to happen because an angel told her it would. It was all part of God's plan. One night, while Joseph was asleep, an angel from the Lord came to him in a dream. The angel said, Joseph, son of David, don't be afraid to accept Mary to be your wife. The baby inside her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son. You will name him Jesus. Give him that name because he will save his people from their sins. This all happened exactly how God said it would many, many years earlier. God told his people that one day a special woman would be pregnant and give birth to a son. This baby would be called Emmanuel, which means God is with us. This is another name for Jesus. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel told him to do and got married to Mary. God had a plan for Joseph and Mary, and they trusted his plan. Even though you may not be sure about what God is doing through some of the crazy things happening in your life, you can trust him. God did have a plan for Joseph and Mary, and God has a plan for your life too. As you saw from that story, Joseph was having a hard time believing that God had a plan for him and his future wife, Mary. Joseph couldn't see how everything was going to come together. But after the angel's visit, Joseph was sure that God had a plan. But I want to ask you, does God have a plan for you too? Yes! He sure does. Whether we can see all the details or not, we can believe that God has a plan for us. If Graham would have taken a look at the recipe, then he would have seen that the plan was to make a no-bake cheesecake. And you and I can look at God's recipe book, the Bible, to see that he has a good plan for each one of us. And that's what we need to know today. Let's say it together. God has a plan. Let's say it one more time. God has a plan. Great work, everyone. To celebrate all the fun we're having, let's sing a song.
will jingle all the way. That was such a fun song. Now, before we can wrap up today's show, we've got one more thing to do. Let's pray together. Bow your head and close your eyes. Father God, thank you for loving us and sending us your son, Jesus, so that we can celebrate at Christmas. Help us to believe that you have a good plan for our lives, even when we can't see it. We love you, amen. And that's it for our show today. I'll see you next time on Holly Jolly Kitchen. As you saw from that story, Joseph was having a hard time believing that God had a plan for him and his future wife, Mary. Joseph couldn't see how everything was going to come together, but after that angel's visit, Joseph was sure that God had a plan. But I want to ask you, does God have a plan for you too? He sure does. Whether we can see all the details or not, we can believe that God has a plan for us too. If Graham would have taken a look at that recipe, then he would have seen the plan was to make a no-bake cheesecake. And you and I can look at God's recipe book, the Bible, to see that he has a good plan for each and every one of us. Let's pray together. Father God, thank you for loving us and sending us your son Jesus so that we can celebrate at Christmas. Help us to believe that you have a good plan for our lives, even when we can't see it. We love you. Amen. Thanks for joining us on set today. We hope you'll stop by next week for another episode of my favorite Christmas cooking show. See you later.